Hey guys, Mr. Mattis here. I cannot believe we have already been out of school for a week. That is wild. Okay, so to get our Friday rolling, a uh, skill that I wanted to go over today is simplifying fractions. That's something you guys I know learned in fourth grade, but we sometimes struggle with it in uh, fifth grade. So I thought just really quickly, we'll go over just a real quick review. Miss Stanlin done an awesome video yesterday on changing a mixed number and into an improper fraction. So be sure to check that out because it's really good. So we're gonna start with the fraction six eighths, okay? Now, when I'm looking at the number six and eight, I'm trying to think of all the things they have in common. And one of those things is that they're even, correct? Okay, so two even numbers. I know that if it's even, I'm gonna be able to divide it by two, okay? So I'm going to divide the top by two, and I'm gonna divide the bottom by two. All right, six divided by two is what? Hands. Three, yes, okay? All right, and then eight divided by two? Anyone? All right, four. Good job. So then we have three fourths, okay? So now I've got a odd number and an even number, and I know that nothing's gonna go into three except one in itself, so the simplest form that six eighths can possibly be is three fourths, all right? Uh, let's look at one more. So I've got eight twelfths, all right? Eight and 12, that's an even number, correct? So two will go into it, but because I'm in fifth grade, I know my multiplication facts, I know that more than just two is gonna go into that. So what does eight and 12 have in common? Four, all right? So you've got eight divided by four. Well, what would I have to multiply four by to get eight? Two, okay. So I've got four times two. And then I've got, how many times is four gonna go into 12? All right, let's see, four times three maybe? So I've got four times three. See how I set that up? All right, my fours are the same. I'm gonna cancel them out, which leaves me with two thirds. Two thirds is my answer. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you, okay? Here's one that I want you to see if you can do on your own. All right, so we got 15 over 24. I know, huge jump in numbers, but we can do this, okay? So I want you to think about 15 and 24. All right, so what number do you think 15 and 24 both have in common? Maybe three, okay. So I've got three times five. And what would be the other one for 24? Three and eight, okay. So three times eight, all right. I'm gonna cancel out my threes because they're the same, which leaves me with five eights, all right. There are some questions like this in your packets. Make sure you're working on those a little bit every day. If you have any questions, Feel free to message one of your fifth grade teachers. We're still here. Bye, guys. Happy Friday.